One of the hardest hit areas during this crisis is emergency medicine. This winter, nearly 20,000 people have had to wait more than 12 hours in the A&E, with some patients stuck there for days. Dr John Paul Lochry works at the Sharp End. He's an E&E consultant and vice president of the Royal College of Emergency Medicine in Scotland. This is the worst that's been in emergency care for a generation. And by that I mean patients spending 8, 12 or longer times in the emergency department in hours. And in times that's two or three days spent in emergency departments and that is complete chaos. With weekly numbers of 12 hour waits sitting at around 1,000 every week. One 12 hour wait previously would have been a never event. And we now see that in almost every hospital across the country every week. The Royal College of Emergency Medicine estimates that Scotland has around 1,000 fewer beds in acute wards than it needs. This means A&E can't discharge patients quickly enough, which leads to overcrowding. Add chronic short staffing to the mix and it's a perfect storm, he says, with consequences that can be fatal. Unfortunately, over the winter, I'm sure that every doctor working in emergency departments in Scotland can point to individual cases where process failures have resulted in premature death of patients, as well as having a department that has maybe 25 cubicles, having more than 100 patients in all areas of it. You know that mistakes will happen then. In a department with 25 beds, you could be looking after 100 patients, four times the capacity. That might be some hospitals having to manage patients in every part of corridor space that they can have trolleys and with patients on them. And that's often then with depleted levels of staffing. For some patients, those hours waiting in a trolley could be the difference between life and death.